I am a ranger. I've got the armor, I've got the helmet, I've got the look, I've got the style, and more importantly, I have the motivation and I have the history to back it up, because I saved Riley's Rangers from certain death at the top of the Statesman Hotel. And even more than that, I have now have the gratitude of Riley's Rangers and free reign in um, this underground lair they put from themselves. This is Butcher. Um, Butcher has healed up all of my wounds for free, which is crazy. Bang on mind, everyone else in this world seems to be absolutely out for themselves and charge me money even though I'm actually helping them at the same time but Butcher's just patched me up my legs feel great my arms feel great um, Donovan tried to repair my gear but bless him he's not all that he's not all that good at it um, and then there's a computer there you can see on the left um, I was having a read through it and uh, it was telling me all about the mission of, of what the Rangers do and we have two main functions as a Ranger mission number one explore the wasteland and I was having a chat with Riley and it's even better than that, because Riley's Rangers, let's be honest, they are mercenaries. Um, but they are actually going to pay me um, to search the wasteland. There's some guy paying them, and that they're going to pay me a proportion of that. And um, so I went up to Riley, and so they, she connected my pit boy up to their system, um, just like you can see in front of you. And um, she paid me over 400 caps just for exploring the wasteland. So my mission from now on, explore the wasteland. Mission number two kill super mutants. They're being paid to kill super mutants. In fact, that's one of the reasons they were on the Statesman Hotel in the first place. And so now that's our mission too. We've got the uniform, we've got the armor, we've got the helmet, we've got the two missions. Explore the wasteland and kill those super mutants. And of course, on top of that, I suppose we need to go and find Dad. So we are going to be heading our way back across to the um, Galaxy News Radio Tower, picking out any super mutants along the way, having a little explore of any locations we we come across, making some money, and doing it all in the name of Rabbit Riley's hey Rangers. Got anything good for me? Nothing new, Riley. I just really want to say, you know, thanks for patching me up. Thanks for giving me some kind of, you know, motivation and missions in in this wasteland. Because, you know, thanks to you, I'm a Riley's Ranger. I'm a man with a purpose, and I'm going to go out there and going to make a difference. Door is always open for you. Come back anytime. I will, because I'm a Ranger. Now this of course was the area that I sprinted through in my last video log. It was pitch black at night. Um, I was absolutely terrified, injured with a mute, massive mutant right behind me um, and I could not see a thing. Um, so I'm very, very much hoping now um, that with light and health on my side that things will be a little bit different. Of course I didn't even realise there was an entire kind of building above me from when I came in here before. I, I, I was, If you saw in the last video log, it was towards the end, and I was just basically kind of running past everything, desperately look, looking for a, um, a place to hide out. I'll just have a quick scavenge here before we before we move on. Oh great, some more, some more ammo potentially. Now there was a magnum, um, speaking of magnum ammo, there was a magnum um, down by the uh, d downstairs, and I could have grabbed it. You know, they, they they were happy for me to take it, but I kind of think I've got enough different types of gun on me now, and um, I'm really starting to struggle with weight. Um, not not my weight. This isn't like a uh, you know a, a help me. I'm getting fat plea, uh, but the 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 idea that um, uh, I just can't carry as much as I as I would like to. I found a couple of stim packs while I was there, but you can see now I'm all, nearly always. Um, kind of operating near near the absolute limit of what I can carry. Um, so I'm going to have to see what I can do about that at some point. Um, <laughs> even if it's kind of a matter of going to the gym or something, I don't know. Um, or whatever the... Uh, whoa! Whatever the wasteland equivalent is of going to the gym these days. Now, there obviously was a huge amount of super mutants outside this um, area. In fact, this was the the uh, delightful one that scared the absolute hell out of me <laughs> the absolute hell out of me last night but uh, he met his end along with hopefully um, many many others and there's the the, ra the ranger's symbol and a good statue there so I think it's probably time for us to uh, resume our search for dad um, but that's it I mean, it's not this is not just about um, 
you know, finding Dad now. It's about completing the missions, the missions for the Rangers. You know, I'm gonna, I'm wearing the armor, so their missions are to search out the wasteland, to take down the super mutants. And you know what? And if I come across any of those bandits as well, or those Talon Rangers, then maybe we'll have to give them a piece of my gun. Um, but we will see um, how that flows. So speak. We need to go back to Three Dog and um, speak to him. Um, now we've got him his uh, uh, got his satellite dish um, back up and running. So if we just before we head off, if we check again um, the map, it looks like we need to search our way back through uh, the metro to take ourselves back to the GNR building plaza. But our foremost concern is going to be whatever is still alive just outside of this exit here and I'm just checking my ammo not good I actually like I said I managed to pick up a few more bullets from the um, from inside the ranger's compound but it literally was a few you know like seven here six six there I wonder if I'll be able to find out what the hell those noises were last night you know there was that strange guy yelling um, not to mention all the super mutants shouting and, and hollering at me it's an old it's an old street That that was the noise I heard last night. What the hell is that? Looks like I kinda need to head Sounds like some seriously tormented dude. Can we go into these houses? Looks like we can. Trees? That's the one thing there isn't, is trees. <laughs> oh, gosh. The only thing that remains from the poor people that lived here. Anything I can scavenge? Poor guy. A few bullets. Bit of food, but I don't. I can't. Again, I can't over stock myself with the food. I, there might be some more stuff up there, but there's there's no way up. And it's starting to rain. Beautiful. Alice's diner requires key. Who's that? Who's Alice, and how do we get in there? Is this the same? Oh no, looks like we can go in to see Alice's diner. Or well, if we're getting paid to explore and to find new places, then we might as well complete the mission as we go. There's something moving, we're not alone in here. It's, it's kind of beautiful in a strangely decrepit way. Oh, it's on the floor! It's like a really small little mole rat. It's kind of cute. Well, as long as it doesn't attack me, then it's kind of cute. Male skeleton, he's got a pistol on him. Loads of knives and forks and... all sorts of stuff. Oh, God, it's just like another morgue. Looks like that's the other door I came past, because one just me must be locked and one's not. <laughs> there was a book I used to enjoy reading back in the vault that with a girl called Alice, and she was always having problems with locked doors and things like that. <laughs> this little mole rat. Looks like they've had too much of the drink me. Although I do, of course, hope there isn't one in here that hasn't had to eat me as well. Poor Alice. 
course, with all these baby mole rats around, that would probably imply that there's going to be a mummy mole rat around us somewhere as well, but... Aside from being rather fast, they haven't posed me much of a problem in the past. Sadly, I don't think any of this stuff's going to be particularly useful. Although, if I ever want to open a canteen or a restaurant, then hey! Here's the place! Every time you go into a place like that, it just kind of reminds me that this isn't just like an empty kind of a statue. This was a place where people used to live and people used to have their lives and Alice used to serve dinner and all those people used to come and eat there. And All of that is over because probably some jackass over in Canada and some jackass over in China and some jackass over in America couldn't quite work it out and so they dropped a load of bombs. Blow us all to hell. Who will? And the sun will rise in the north. No, the northwest. For 44 days and 67 nights. And we'll never notice. Some sort of crazy street preacher. I don't know if it's coming over there where that light is. The sun, it burns. Why does it burn? Why have we put the sun into a jar? It's like some kind of kid's play area with some sort of nutcase over above it. Can't quite read what it says on that sign over there. And look, a, a mini nuke. Who'd put a mini nuke? Oh, hang on, there's a mine. That mine could have detonated this mini nuke. I wonder if there's more. Look, there's another one, and another one. Whoa, that's a minefield. That is a minefield both morally and literally, and I'm not going to go and touch that. Although I'd love the mines. Five it. I wish that guy would shut up. Um, if I ever get better at like getting past mines and stuff, I'm going to go back there, because that was, that was like a treasure trove of mines. But it looks like we're going to need to find our way back across to the station that we came and from last rise. night, but... At least this time we should be able to see who's coming at us and why. any bugs in here, there's no more, no more mutants around. So what's in this little apartment block? If I can find some way of looking out over there, um... If I can find something that kind of looks out over the rest of the, 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 the street, maybe I can pick out some of the mutants from up here. Oh god. Now I don't want to open a skeleton or have a bath. Especially not on one that's full of rubble. These cabinets have basically survived pristine. Uh, glass of wine, maybe this evening, but not yet. Take some bobby pins if I ever get any better at picking locks. Well, at least they died doing what they loved. bit of artwork that seems to have survived the war. Can't find anything I can use though, but it's, again it's more reminders of what was here before and perhaps what's been lost. <laughs> well, I don't think we need to put a caption on that one other than to say that yes, people enjoyed living in the city.
Well, I guess all that'll do is a nice interlude. But the mutants outside are waiting for me. Or perhaps... Perhaps I'm waiting for them. Sounds like there's one on my left, but I can't see him. Just wonder if I can use that sh Ah, yes, I knew there was one here. Damn it, missed. I don't know if that one spotted me yet. Let's see if I can get him. He's just supposed to be standing there and taking the shots. But hey, I'm not going to complain. Ah, shot the damn wall. One more, you dirty green son of a... Ah, missed. My accuracy's getting worse. Come on, don't fail me now. Something else firing at me. I'm not alone. Let's reload. I can feel the shots coming, but I can't see where they're coming from. Don't have room. Once again, my carrying ability is letting me down. Something was shooting at me. Now, where is it? Oh, it's up there. Something's above the above the truck. Ha! Not so scary now when I've got a proper ammo. An arm and a leg and a head that works. God. Lockpicks are always my blooming weakness. God, if this guy doesn't shut up, I'm going to put him out of his misery myself. Wherever he is. Two more guys up there. Let's go and see. Oh, that's some good ammo. Damn it. Over encumbered myself again. I, I could just ditch this uh, massive minigun I picked up, but I kind of like it. I don't want to get rid of all the new apparel I've got, and I need the new device that I was given by uh, by Riley to map the place. I don't know if I'm ever going to use all this different stuff here, but it feels wrong to just kind of throw potentially useful things on the ground. Let's get rid of some meat. There should be two bodies. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Oh, that's this is a good haul. He was carrying huge amounts of ammo. Interesting. That that takes the five five six millimeter ammo, but it's uh, does a similar amount of damage to the to the the Chinese assault rifle that I've been using, but it weighs more. So I guess I I guess I'll stick with what I've got. It's nice to know those alternatives. Right, the train station is over the back of here. Oh, this must be the road where I cowered last night. Yeah, I must have. That must be. I must have hidden down there, and had a little panic attack about which way I was going to go. Huh. And now times have changed. The red racer shop. I I had one of them in the vault. I had a red racer. Oh dear! What the heck is that? Let's try and use one of these other weapons on these things. I don't think they're going to be a threat to me, so let's try out one of these other things. <laughs> it's good target practice, too, for these laser stuff. 
they handle differently. Like you'd think if you give them one weapon, you're good with them both, but it doesn't really seem to kind of work like that. I seem to be getting better with these small guns, with the laser stuff, still a bit of a kind of an, an anomaly. I used to love these tricycles. Whizzing round and underground. I suppose I could take one for nostalgic reasons, but then I'm probably just asking for trouble and going, oh, I can't carry the new machine gun, but hey, I've got room for my tricycle. It doesn't really seem to work as a... Ooh! And under the money was a gun. But again, it's my baggage that's causing me the problem. Please don't tell me I've been weighed down by cash. God. Hundred and seventy six. What can I ditch? I need my medical kit, I need my tool kit, I need these medical braces in case I break things, because I'm breaking things all the time. I like my bubble head, I suppose I could ditch some more ammo that I'm not using. Probably not going to use this. I've got all these mini nukes, so I probably don't need the missiles. It's just so frustrating. You never know what you're going to need in the future, and if I kind of go, if I all of a sudden find myself in a situation where I desperately need a missile, and I'm not carrying it, I'm going to be gutted. No, no medical kit here. I suppose this isn't a bad place to kind of scout out the area from through these windows. A cup of joe over the other side, although I don't think now is going to be coffee break time. Ah, look! One of our own old little buddies. Well, I've been wanting to give this thing a go. Oh, no you don't. Oh, no you don't either. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Damn it. Oh, three of them. Four of them. Oh, whoa, whoa. What are they doing? Chucking pieces of themselves at me? That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Well, they're not going to carry any good stuff, so I think we just withdraw. Mainly because they're disgusting. I could kill you if I wanted. Uh, testing. <laughs> T testing. This is um Sebastian. I mean, well, of course it's Sebastian. You're already listening to Sebastian's log, but this is Sebastian later than the Sebastian you're currently watching. Um, basically, um, I had to fight my way back through the, 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 the tunnels and the areas that I'd been before to get back to the GNR. It was kind of cool um, seeing all of the kind of areas that I'd been before and uh, reminding myself of what I'd kind of been through before I became a ranger. You know, there were, there were bodies of ghouls, there were bodies of mutants, there was the body of the behemoth. Um, I saw that scavenger guy. Um, it was, it was kind of cool walking around, kind of seeing the journey that I'd been on, because the first time I came through these places, I was absolutely terrified. And now I'm walking through them, and I'm a ranger. I'm there with a mission. Explore the wasteland, um, kill super mutants, and find dad as well. Um, so I'm going I'm to skip ahead in the video log to the point um, that, I, that, that I get back to the GNR and find um, three Doc. So this is later Sebastian out. Before we go and see Three Dog, let's see if we can uh, improve our let's situation. Yeah. Hey Jim, I want you to repair my stuff. Uh, all for a pretty good price as well. Ranger armor can get—he can take me up to twenty-six. Perfect. Chinese assault rifle up to one ninety-four. Lovely. These bizarre abilities that these clones have are quite superb. So the fact that I can actually stand in front of that guy in my pajamas gives me some money off. But hey, I'm not going to knock it if it works. Right. Three dog. There you are. Yet another self-serving product of the wasteland. 
who now that sees himself as everyone's hero. Hey, all right. The hero of the wasteland returns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did what. Yeah, yeah. It was the thrill of a freaking lifetime. Now tell me where Dad is. Up peace, pipe man. You know you are so unlike your father. You're right. I came I back. Suppose that's what you want to know next. Well, yeah. Where where's my dad gone? When your dad passed through here, he and I talked for a good long time. He's a real stand-up kind of guy. Good. Did you he use him too? Some scientific mumbo jumbo, which didn't make sense to me. I mentioned something called Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then he left in a hurry. Rivet City. Where's that? You never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just wow. Well, a whole bunch of people got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. So that was it. I had to, like, fight my way through an entire city, almost die about three times, reinstall some satellites so he can be a radio DJ so he could just go, Rivet City! He's gone to Rivet City! That was it. Great, well, how are things now that I've turned the power back? I can't even tell you the love I'm getting from the wasteland. Well, I'm glad they're giving it to you. Ever since G and I started singing again, the guys downstairs told me that more people than ever are tuning in. It's all I ever wanted. I have to go now because you you're kind of sickening me, to be honest. Here. Be glad to provide. Oh yeah, now you do. Great, I'd love to come and hang out in your little celebrity haunt. <sighs> to if the new civilization is made up of people like him, people like Three Dog are only interested in fame, using everyone else, then civilization's just going to go to hell straight away. More power mad people, and eventually one of them will go, hey, I've got a nuclear bomb, and the other one will go, no, you haven't. And then they'll just blow each other up again. So, Rivet City. Now, where the hell's that on the map? Okay, again, I'm just going to stop the tape here. It looks like I've got to um, fight my way back through the stations I originally came from. Hopefully, it's going to be fairly uneventful there, so I can just breeze through it. And I'll restart the tape when I get back outside um, uh, of the uh, of the capital, um, just next to the river, um, so we, which we could follow to get to Rivet City. Okay, so we are back outside the city. Let's put the armor on. Let's make sure we've got a good gun, because this area was reasonably busy with raiders, I think, when we initially went down here, uh, which feels like a long, long time ago I initially ducked into this place. Um, oh, yep, and we do have company. Looks like a mutant. Looks like a mutant. Let's see if I can um, plug him with a grenade. Comes What the what gun is he using? Wow, that's a... Ow, that's really hurt. Whatever he's firing at me is really hurting. Is he dead? No, damn it, he's still alive. I have to duck out of the way. Whoa! That gun sounds different and it sounds fast and it's doing a lot of damage to me. I'm going to have to use one of my three stim packs. I've only got three. Let's see if we can get him with this shotgun I picked up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is he? We've done quite a lot of damage with that with those explosives, but I can't risk using another explosive because I'm right near him. Right, there we go. He's, he's going the wrong way. He went the wrong way. It's been a long time since I've been here. Whatever the hell that gun was, it hurt. I wonder if I can use it. Your strength makes it easier to use this weapon. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Now, that is a cool gun. The Super Duper Mart. Yes, I remember you. And I guess what lies between me now is another choice. Dad is down the river. But I think there are some people over there in that super duper mart that required justice. Those raiders that I ran away from before, the ones that killed all those people, the ones that forced me to become a killer for the first time, they will be the next ones to go. 
I'm going to head over there and I'm going to put them out of their misery because I am one of Riley's rangers. I'm going to change this planet for the better. I'm going to change this wasteland into something that it should have been beforehand and I'm going to start right there with the Super Duper Mart. It's going to become a nice place where people can buy food again rather than the slaughterhouse with which it has become. Guys, if you've watched this video log, thank you. Show me your support. Show me that you want me to take what the? God, there's more of them. Right, let's see what we can do with this thing. It's a beautiful weapon. And it's going to be even more beautiful if it's used for justice. If it's swaying a little bit in my hands. It's going to be hard for me to get a, a kind of a lock on it. It, it, it. It's a big, big, heavy gun. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, that was beautiful. That... Ah, no! Oh, my arm. Oh, I got the first one. I got the first one. And then the second one caught me with some sort of bullet. There they go. And now it's... Now the gun's ducking around like crazy with my arm injury. Oh. oh. Damn it. I've got this wonderful armor. I've got these brilliant guns. But underneath it all, I'm still... Flesh and blood. And I've got and broken my arm again. Oh. Fine. Let's use a gun that's less big and take down this blasted ranger. You want to pick on this people? You want to pick on people and just scavengers? You want to pick on wastelanders? Well, not anymore, because there's a new ranger in town, and his name is Sebastian. Come on, get over here. You can't hurt me. Your gun is sucks. And let's face it, so does my accuracy right now. Oh, God. This freaking arm injury. I can't even shoot something right in front of me. Come on, if you want to attack me, then you come over here. If you want a piece of me, then you get over here. She's running away. She's actually running away. Well, you're going to run into a shotgun. You coward. You coward. As soon as someone actually stands up for you, you bolt. Yes, you run and you tell your friends that there is a new ranger in the wasteland. Sebastian is here. That felt good. And in the Super Duper Mart, it's going to feel even better. Guys, if you're with me on this mission, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to come back soon, because we are going to bring justice to the wasteland. Sebastian...